I brought with me an essential tool for a magician, a deck of cards. Now people say you should never trust a magician. I'll show you an example why. Because over here might look like one blue of bicycle deck of playing cards. In reality, there are actually two, the red deck and the blue deck. I brought two just, you know, just in case. I don't know which one you like better. <laughs> Let's try again. Look, a blue deck. Do I have a blue deck or a red deck in my hand? Just take a guess. Actually, it doesn't matter. I brought again two deck of cards, a blue deck and a red deck. You know, just, just for safety. I'll show you an example of why you should never play card game with a magician use, using this deck of cards. Now, you might play card games or poker or anything like that at home. Uh, in this deck, there's actually four of my favorite playing cards. We're going to use that today, which are actually the four kings. So there's the king of diamonds, there's the king of spades, there's the king of clubs, and uh, the king of hearts. So one, two, three, all four kings. And I'll put these away. We don't need them. We'll put the box, everything out of sight, out of mind. Okay, these four cards, we have, again, all the kings. And I'll show you an example of how you can cheat. For example, let's say you're playing card games and you have a good card in your hand. You want to steal that card away, keep it for later. I'll show you one way you can do it. I have a pocket here, so one way, you can take the card, you can place like that in the pocket. But obviously that's a little bit obvious, so I'll show you another way that you can do it on a table without people seeing it. It's called invisible palm. So watch right here. All I have to do is just palm that card in your hand like this. If you palm it in a right angle, palm it properly, it actually looks completely invisible. You can't even see it, but completely gone. And that leaves us with only one, two, and three cards. Anytime you want, you toss to the pocket, and you guessed it, the king travel to the pocket. I know that was a little bit quick. I'll do it one more time, and this time a little bit out in the open so you can see exactly when the moment happens. From my left hand to my right hand, three and one. Watch the king go travel from here, and jumps over here, and again, that's two king that travel from hand to hand. Let me try one more time. I know you want to see it maybe a little bit slower. I'll do it this time face down and I'll do it even slower this time, as slow as I can. Watch this card closely. Watch from there. I'll make it completely invisible, a little bit by little. From there, completely gone. All I have to do is place it down on the table and there you go. That's the third kings. Of course, just moving the king from hand to hand or putting a card to my pocket doesn't really help me win necessary. But if I can actually change this to a much bigger denomination, for example, I wave this over the deck and I can actually get the ace out from the deck of cards, but not just one, actually, there's one, two, three, all four aces, and that's why you should never cheat or play card games with magicians. Now, you might be thinking, Oh, maybe there's an extra ace in this deck or something like that. You can see there's actually absolutely no other ace in this deck. But like I said, everything is just an illusion. If you watch the nine, in fact, there actually is no other card in this deck but the aces. 